Today we're going to discuss about transformation. The first type of transformation that I would like to discuss with you is the reflection. Reflection happens when there is a negative sign in front of the function. To give an example, we are going to use f of x equals 2x plus 3 and we want to transform that and make it become negative f of x. So the first thing that I would like to ask of you is you will be giving me a description of the transformation. And the description of this transformation should go like this. This is a vertical reflection about the x-axis. Let me explain that. Anything that happens outside f of x affects the y values. Anything that happens inside the parentheses affects the x values. Since the negative sign is outside, this is going to affect all the y values of your function. And so, if you have y, which is also called the vertical axis, and you have x, which is also called the horizontal axis. And for example, this is your function and you want to reflect it here. It is called about the x-axis because this points, all the points on this function will be reflected about the x-axis. They would go back and forth, up and down about the x-axis. That's the reason why this is the right description. The next requirement that I have is for you to come up with two tables. The first table is the table of the original function, which is going to be from here. So you have your x and y, and we would like to assign negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 as your domain. To get this, it is easier to go to your calculator, go to y equals and put it there, then go to second graph to get the table. And all of these are your range or your y values given the domain negative 2 and 2, negative 2 to 2, I mean. So your y values or your range will be negative 1, 1, 3, 5, and 7. This table is your original table. Okay. Now you're going to come up with a new table. And the way to get the new table is by looking at your description. When your description says vertical reflection, that means that all points on the all points of the y are going to be affected or all y values will be affected. So therefore x values are going to stay the same. So you're going to copy down your x values, but all the y's will be reflected. So the negative 1 will become a 1, positive, po positive 1 will become a negative 1, all these positive numbers will become negative. This now is your new table. This is your uh, table of the transform function. So this is your new table. The next one is you're going to come up with the equation. So the equation will be will be your old one, which is f of x equals to x plus three, and your second equation is the equation that would come from the transform function which has a negative outside so this is a i'm sorry this is f prime of x that's your transform function and you want a negative in the front and negative f of x but the whole f of x is actually this so all these will go inside so that'd be 2x plus 3 sorry and this will now be distributed and that's a negative 1 so you distribute and your transform function should be f prime equals negative 2x minus 3 
the next one that I'm going to discuss is a reflection about the y-axis. So let's have the reflection about the y-axis right here at the bottom. So given the same function f of x equals 2x plus 3, when do we have a reflection about the y-axis? That happens when your transformation looks like this. When the negative sign is inside, it will affect the x values or the independent variables. And your description there should be uh, let me explain that real quick why that is the case. If you have the y-axis at the x-axis and you want for example to reflect this function to this side you're reflecting those values about the y because you are going think of it like going back and forth about the y because you are reflecting your x values so what's going on here is really a horizontal reflection about y-axis. Okay, that's the meaning of it. Now let's go to the table. Tables. So the original table, again, using the uh, domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, we found out a while ago that your range are negative 1, 1, 3, 5, and 7. And so this is your original. Okay, that's your original. We want to get the table of the transform function. So how do that, how do we get that? We we'll look at this and it says here that it affects the horizontal um, values or the horizontal axis, which means that the domain will be affected. With that said, all your y values will stay the same. So negative 1, 1, 3, 5, and 7. And the uh, domain will now be the one that's reflected. So all these negative will turn to positive, And all the positive will turn to negative. This now is your transformed table. So this is the table of the transformed function. So this is your new table. We now go to our equation. So your f of x is 2x plus 3. But then you want your f prime to be this. And this is your x. So we, that said, this x will now turn to that. Therefore, we plug it in. After you plug it in, you're now going to have your transformed function, which looks like this. That's now your new function.